Wednesday, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Of course, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for coming back and those who continue to tune in from week to week. Um, as you can tell, um, yeah, kind of laid back. Actually, we'll be going to the gym shortly. Um, but I wanted to come in with a quick what I'm working on so you know what to expect and to let you know what's coming up on Sunday. But first, there's a couple uh, subscribers I'm going to shout out. One in particular today, the other will be in a future video because both of these were so amazing. Um, and yeah, the other one I will share in the beginning of June. Yes. So, um, first of all, let me tell you what's coming up on Sunday. So Sunday, um, for those who are on my email list, you've already seen a sample of the um, results and know um, how my professional color analysis went. So coming up on Sunday, um, and if you have not subscribed to uh, SoNaturalDane.com, um, you can do that. The link will be down in the description box. So if you want to know how to support the channel, um, make sure you like this video leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the website so you can get news updates behind the scenes things um, that I do tell uh, my subscriber list newsletter list um, before I bring them here on YouTube so anyway um, so super excited but coming up on Sunday will be the start of my professional color analysis results series so I'm thinking it's going to be probably four to five videos um, I'm not sure if the last video I'm thinking about I'll need to break up um, which will make it five <clears throat> so starting on this coming Sunday for the next four to five weeks every Sunday there will be a series for my professional color analysis the one that's coming up on Sunday um, will be all about my thoughts and what I felt my colors were all of that good stuff so I have been preparing this content in the background and working on information for the website because it will be um, outlined on the website uh, so make sure that you are subscribed I haven't made it live on the website as of yet um, I'll probably wait till week two um, but the subscribers um, on the newsletter list I have asked and put out a call what they would like to see specifically outlined in the um, on the website and so make sure you join the list so yeah if I do any more polling or anything like that you can have some input there but stay tuned for Sunday because that will be part one of my professional color analysis series um, the next thing is because I did mention I am going to the gym um, in a little bit. One of my subscribers, she has asked that I do not um, share her name or anything like that, which I will honor, but she said that she was fine with me sharing. Um, so many of you have seen and complimented, and thank you, thank you, thank you for the DMs, for the emails, for the comments on Instagram, as well as here on YouTube about my weight loss journey and where I have gotten so far and my, prog my milestones and all of that. I will link to uh, the most recent video here um however in that video i think it was that video i had mentioned um that you know at some point i need to get probably get a fitbit or a garmin or something like that to begin um to get a more accurate uh um reading of calories burned different things like that and so guess what one of my subscribers did and they know who they are thank you thank you thank you i greatly appreciate your generosity she sent me a brand new um fitbit and i am so super excited i'm so this is so humbling that somebody would even think to do something like that i honestly don't know how much these um cost but i would imagine they're not cheap not inexpensive at all and somebody has decided little me to invest their personal resources to um, send me a Fitbit and she did reach out to me in advance and you know we had email back and forth and I was like wait what what up what and so um, I am ever so grateful and you all know my I had issues with my phone so now that I have a brand new phone oh um, 
I can connect this um, to that, to, to the, the phone. And so I am so um, super excited about it and just, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to connect it and see how um, different ways that I can use it and different things like that. Um, so yeah, it'll be to track because I do, um, of course, walking, um, slogging, <laughs> and then I do Aquafit. But I also do, which doesn't get tracked when I'm just having my phone on me, is I do do uh, weights. I also do the weights, and you all saw that. I shared that in the video. So I never count in my daily calories burn that because I never knew how much I was burning but now I will so I'm so super excited you know who you are thank you thank you thank you so much for that um I do want to also say a couple other things I'm working on so yes the Ingrid bra is going to end up being pushed to June um and so because I do have something else to share about a bra you guys will not believe this but anyway um I'll share that in June so that will get pushed to June because two things um one unexpected and one I just kind of jumped on because I was like, that's a good one. One, my um, company, I have to take um, headshots uh, that will go on our company website, I guess. And um, and so they're sending me to a photographer to do my makeup and all this, but I have to wear a blazer over, you know, a dress or something that I have. And obviously I don't have any blazers because I don't, where see when I was thinking of blazers for the office I kind of turned that off and you all know I recently talked about making blazers but to style them differently than what I did in the past and so this is pushing me to make a blazer sooner than I intended because I wasn't planning on making a blazer until um late summer early fall and so I am working on because that came this happened within the past week or two for work um they were like oh we need you to go do this da, da, da. I'm like okay that wasn't on my list so I am going to be making the love notions metro blazer and I'll pop a picture up here so I had to run to join fabrics to get some fabric um I'm keeping it real simple it's actually going to be in one of my colors um, and yeah I will share a review of the Metro Blazer as well as the look that <laughs> that the headshots the result of the headshots and the outfit and everything that I pulled together for that so yeah um, a couple things had to get pushed to the side because I have to work on that and so that's being done this week as you're you're watching this video or by the time you see this video I would have already started that um the second thing is I am working on the pattern test and um I had decided to do this I think when did I decide to do this yeah May had already started and I was like this is a good pattern test it's a good one it is a good one it is a dress I will say that but you'll have to stay tuned to know what it is but it is a good one so many options with it um and so yeah you will want to stay tuned for that that will come up in June as well because our test our final isn't due until the 26th of May I want to say or something like that and so um yeah you will see that reveal um and that exciting new pattern that's coming up in june so i want to um come in with a few indie patterns that i picked up and so um oh and tell you about what the other things i'm working on this month so the one thing that i there are two um sewing challenges going on one is by sew your view it's for the duana diy her um ada peplum dress and so if you saw my previous video um the sewing buzz you know that i had already talked about this and yes like i said in that video i was purchasing the pattern and i did and um and now just so happened for the month of May, um, so your view is doing the sewing challenge to make this. So be on the lookout for that. I'm actually going to make the dress version. Um, so that is a pattern that I picked up in May. So I'm sharing with you patterns I recently picked up that I know I haven't shared just yet. And so that is one that will be coming up next week on the channel. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, yes, that will come up in 
yes in may um and then probably next week wednesday as a matter of fact uh you will see that um there is another challenge going on hosted by now this will be a twofer um i am doing the um so together for summer it is the uh sundress and i'm also doing the it is by raquel sewing um and let me see let me go out to instagram and look it up so i get it right okay so it is called dress like your grandma 2021 um and hashtag is dress like your grandma 2021 and this is um a vintage sewing challenge um hosted by raquel sewing knitting in asia i will link that down below and then of course the um sew together for summer the sundress is sewing in spain um uh so Sarah Smith and Rocco Sienna um, are the host for that one. And so I figure because I picture this as a, um, this is Simplicity 8096. This is has a very vintage vibe to me. You all know I have been anxious to make this. So I was like, you know what? This will fit both of those challenges. And so the vintage dress like your grandma because these are, um, I know these are the type of dresses uh, my grandmother used to wear sundresses, I know, um, back in the day. And so I thought this was super cute. Um, and you all know I've been wanting to do this because of the strap. They say cover up your bra strap and all that good stuff. And it's a beautiful sundress. And um, I am all into the dresses these days, as you can tell from my So Maxi for Mother's Day. And thank you all for the wonderful comments on the jumpsuit. Super excited that that was one definitely for for the book. So that is what I'll be working on. So you'll see the simplicity that'll probably because I already have video schedule and you all know I only upload twice a week, Sunday and Wednesdays, um, 10 a.m. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And then on the 1st of June, you'll see the sewing buzz and who I'll be interviewing, which I'm so excited about um, on June 1st. And so this will come up in if I do an extra video during the week, um, I'll let you know either on, on that Sunday or that Wednesday's video. Um, I'll let you know that. Um, but expect to, see, you'll see this because this is due May 31st and so is the Duana DIY Ada Peplum um, is due May 31st. So they'll both be done. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram so you can see what they look like. Um, but you'll see the videos here, um, you know, soon thereafter. And so let me get into a couple other patterns that I picked up and share with you some information. And so a pattern that I picked up today is so, it's totally new to me, totally new to me pattern uh, company. Um, I've heard of the pattern company before you know how you follow different pattern companies and then for whatever reason you don't see um their stuff based on the al algorithms pop up in your feed um but since i saw um this one i had learned about this one actually from some someone else um and so i just i thought it was super cute i thought it was very relaxing totally my vibe and um will fit the bill for um you'll see in my color analysis series it will fit what i plan to make during that whole um series but you'll see um so i figure why not i'm gonna i'll go ahead and get this because i'll be sharing pinterest and all pinterest pics and everything for the colors but you'll see that you'll see that in the series but the um pattern is the pattern company is made by ray and she has launched the emerald dress and this is such a very simple dress it does not say if it is um specifically for beginner but i can tell this is something that is definitely beginner friendly and what i also love is that it goes up to um it has plus size range as well and so her range is marked as extra extra small to xl and plus sizes um starting at size one through five and so um when i saw this i was like yes i will get it now the body measurements for the full bust it starts at 32 and a half at a full bust and then it goes up to a 57 um uh 57 inch um for the full bust and then but the finished garment measurements go from 
a full bust of 37 and a half so that's five inches of ease all the way up to 62 inches so there is five inches of ease built in at that full bust area and then you have your waist that goes up to um, a 51 for a size five the finished garment measurement is 67 um, so there is ease and you can tell it's a very relaxed fit um, I'm more than likely because it is a very relaxed fit. There are no bust starts um, in here. It looks like it's meant to be a nice um, loose fitting garment. I will not do a, um, I'm comfortable with not doing a muslin on this. I absolutely love the sleeves um, and yeah so so nice now here's the thing with this one it's on sale it is on sale until may 31st so make sure you grab it it's 20 percent off you have to use the code emerald um and this is on their instagram page in order to get the 20 percent off so i definitely grabbed that up this month and then here's the other bonus you all know i have featured um you fine fibers uh um um fabric store online fabric so I bought fabric from them and absolutely love 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 the quality of their fabric so um made by Ray posted that uh U fibers is actually offering a 10 percent discount on printing um the uh emerald dress and for 10 percent off so um fine uh you fibers does pattern printing and so for this particular pattern they've teamed up with made by ray if you purchase your emerald pattern and then you go out to um uh you fibers to um get it printed you can get 10 percent off and so um she i think let me see if i can tell yeah it says use cold emerald so the code is the same for the dress and for the um the pdf printing however um it's only 10 percent off on uh u fibers and so the the um thing about that is i am going to order some fabric because i've been wanting to get some from them for a while i will be getting some fabric from uh u fibers for this dress in particular and i'm gonna go ahead and get the have them print the um pdf pattern as well because hey get the pattern and the fabric all together which is awesome um so yeah wanted to share that I, again i will link to um um made by ray down in the uh description box and i'll link to their instagram page so then you can see the code for yourself and go to the emerald highlights reel and you'll see where they talk about um uh you fine fibers so very excited about that pick that up the other one i talked about that i did pick up as well is green style um lift leggings and you all know because i like the little ruching detail and everything um it's so funny rachel Ra rachel from rachel stick stitched up she's on youtube as well she posted on instagram that she made the the leggings and i said it didn't lift your booty and she, <laughs> it was just so funny she said it, it didn't necessarily do any lifting but um and i'm like oh shucks but anyway no i think i like that style and so yeah i picked that up now i have picked this one has been around uh I don't know actually when this pattern came out. It may have come out last, uh, no. The Ashton has been out. This is Helen's Closet and I'll pop a picture of the Ashton top. Um, I picked this up because it is cropped. I absolutely want to uh, give this a go because I do like cropped um, tops like this. And um, so yeah, I went ahead and picked this up. And actually when I bought this, it was on sale uh, in the beginning of, was it may or was it april i cannot remember now but it, it was recently on sale the ashton top for i want to say it was 20 percent off so i picked that up and um went ahead and got that and so um yeah i plan to do something with that um real soon and then the last two that i picked up um i don't have any deer and doe patterns other than the free plantain pattern which i do have a slow long here on my channel i'll link it up above um i hadn't picked up any of their um, patterns because their size range was not size inclusive however um, recently they have posted on their Instagram that they purchased new um, that they're 
um, in the process of updating their um, size range, their patterns, and all that good stuff. Um, and so, which is exciting. And so they had two patterns um, that went on sale. Um, in this might have to be late April it looks like um, and they were 10% off and I am not going to pronounce these right um, but I picked up the I think it's pronounced or or should I don't know I'll pop up a picture here but um, who was it on Instagram um, oh the name just just slipped my mind um, Oh, I forgot who it was now it their their handle just went out in my head but anyway she posted a picture of the top in um, in the orchardy I know I'm not pronouncing it right um, and I thought that is so cute and it was cropped um, she said she would lengthen it but I like the crop version um, because I am short waist and I'm learning with my styling and how things I want to fit me um, that I am definitely shorter in my torso. So I like the the cropped, um, something that is more cropped and um, look on me. So that is uh, another thing. But I thought the dress was very pretty as well. Um, but I'm drawn more so to the top of this. And what was also on sale was the Coquelicot. Co Co I know I didn't say that right. Somebody will correct me down in the comments, I'm sure. But I thought this was a very simple dress and I like the square neckline. It is that neckline, that square neckline with the um, flounce around the um, square neckline. And I like the, actually like the shorter version. I'm not sure how short that is. I would want it to hit my knees. I wouldn't want it as long as was shown um, on the line drawing, but I'm thinking I won't want it as short as the shorter version, but I'll probably lengthen that skirt um, just to make sure it's hitting right at my knee where I like my dresses to hit. Um, so yes, I am very excited um, about these and then when I looked at the sizing on these um, based on the the sizing on these it looked like um, they they should work and so I will be searching for some fabric but again stay tuned for all of that because I'll be um, talking about a few different projects um, that I'll be working on in the future and the colors the results of that and how I'll be shopping for fabric so that is it that's it I am going to jump off here because tonight is Aquafit and I'm so excited and I want to play with this um, my Fitbit and um, yeah that is it everybody thank you so much for tuning in today I hope you have had a fantastic week and thank you all again for all of your wonderful comments on the jumpsuit i absolutely love 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 it um and there will be another um i actually want to do what myra did and play with some dyeing of um some colors and stuff so but anyway i'll talk about that in a future video but make sure you have subscribed make sure you hit the bell don't forget to thumbs up this video on your way out and um stay tuned for sunday that will be part one of my professional color analysis results series and yeah i'll tell you what you can expect during that entire series coming up on sunday all right everybody thank you for tuning in today and we will see you on sunday bye